Good morning guys, greetings from Latvia. This video, it won't be about Latvia. I'm taking a proper break from my usual kind of videos until most likely mid-October, maybe November. But instead, today I want to talk about the biggest scam that we have ever experienced during our travels. It was it was in India in 2016 and let's call this scam the official tourism office scam in Delhi in India. And the reason I want to talk about this is you see we have been traveling extensively for almost 10 years in less than two months. It's gonna be 10 full years since we left on our first long-term travel and it was to India. So yeah, and uh, some 80% of these travels, these adventures, these misadventures haven't been documented on video. So once in a while, I'm gonna make videos like this. The previous one was a while ago and it was about how I was robbed in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. You can find that video on my YouTube channel. And today, today I want to talk about India. Yeah, about India and about being scammed in India. If I look back at these 10 years of extensive travel, I must say that this was the only situation, the only one situation that I would call a serious scam that we almost fell for. Um, we fell for it for a while until we realized that we are being scammed and we get out. But yeah, that also shows you that in fact it's not as scary as it may seem this traveling thing because if in 10 years of traveling to some 40 maybe 50 countries you experience a serious scam only one time I think that's a good sign and then it was year 2016 January 1 it was our second time traveling to India for those of you who have been following me, us on YouTube, it uh, may feel like we have been to India only once, but no, we have been to India. I have been to India four times. Una has been to India three times. And then um, the first time was we were cycling across India for five months. And in 2016, this was our second time in India. We thought, that we know India, we thought that no one will scam us, but it turned out that we were wrong and it was proven on the very first day on of, of our second visit to India. January 1, 2016, yeah, 2016, we have just arrived to New Delhi, the capital of India. We are going to the city center, we are taking the metro it's a very nice and clean comfortable cheap transportation to get from delhi airport to the city center and uh, yeah our hotel is i don't remember exactly but more or less five ten minute walk away from the metro station and also from the main train station in delhi so you don't expect that you are being that you will be tricked in this short distance you let your guard down and that's exactly what happened to us we arrived to this station so we arrive this station the Delhi main train station and also the uh, end stop of the Delhi metro train the airport train we enter the train station building for the very first time because you see even though we had been to India for five months before, but before we were traveling by bicycles, we were cycling all the way across India and a little bit more. I may make a video in English about that later. Yeah. So yeah, but we had never taken a train. No, we had taken once, but it was from Goa. We also hadn't really used public transportation in India. So at that, we were lacking, we, we had no this experience. We are at this train station. We want to go through the main train station because we see that we see that the hotel we need to get to is 
like on the other side of the train station it's in a very popular backpacker area called Pahar Ganj. Pahar Ganj is the main area where budget travelers, backpackers, independent travelers stay in New Delhi. Um, yeah, we are looking for a place how to get through that station, quite a busy station, and um, a man in uniform approaches us. A man in a blue shirt, I believe. And he asks us, like, uh, what are you looking for? We say well, we want to go through, like, if these are the stairs that we have to take. And he's like, oh, you want to go to Pahar Ganj? We say, yeah, we want to go. And, like, our hotel is there. And he says, like, no, 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 sorry. Uh, today, January 1, it's, uh, I don't remember exactly his words, but something like, a red alert has been issued by the government and uh, no one is allowed to enter Pahar Ganj area. It sounded super serious because you see a person in uniform, a person who looks like official employee of the, let's go across the road so I don't get hit by cyclists. Yeah a person who looks like an employee of the train station is telling you this kind of thing we didn't have internet on the phone so we couldn't check anything and we had spent the last hours on trains for January 1 streets were more empty I don't remember exactly but it sounded all very serious and so we fell for it and followed the man to the entrance of the train station where he said us where he told us um you know there is one thing that you can do you can go to the official tourism office of india it's nearby i will arrange a official government tuk tuk for you it's gonna be for free today there at that office they will tell you like what are your options what should you do as a tourist to avoid all this mess Okay, seems kind of sketchy for us, but at the same time, he is in uniform. He looks like an official employee of the train station, so we follow his advice. Enter that tuk tuk instead of going to our hotel, which is less than one kilometer away, but we don't know the way. Uh, yeah, and the tuk tuk takes us to uh, some building near. I think this place was called, hmm, what was the name? Um, not far from the train station, there is a round, um, roundabout, a very popular shopping district. I will put that name here on the screen. So he takes us to that place, we recognize that place, we had been there before. And he takes us to the official tourism office of India. We also had seen that building, by the way. So, yeah, uh, at that moment we started to think that it must be for real because he had taken us to the real official tourism office of India. We entered that building. The tuk tuk driver, I think he's waiting for us. We entered that building and this man they, they uh, are telling us the same thing. Some shit has happened. Tourists are not allowed to go there to Pahar Ganj area. Like it's a dangerous area at the moment. There is some um, kind of terrorist activity there or something like that. And that's why it's dangerous. Okay, we think like it sounds serious and scary, but uh, then they start talking about possible solutions and this is when we start to get suspicious of their intent because what they are telling us is that uh, they recommend us to leave Delhi and to go to Agra, to Jaipur, to these uh, popular tourist destinations to see Taj Mahal, to see the sites of Jaipur because they think that in a few days it's gonna be fine and it's gonna be okay to return to 
Delhi? Yeah, but uh, at the same time we are thinking like, okay, it's dangerous, but why can't they just stay in another area while this danger goes away? Why we have to go on that tour that they are offering us? So yeah, it, it, it makes us really suspicious and in some 10, 15 minutes of talking with these people asking them like if we can take a train to go away like because why do we have to take that private tour because we're not the f for the first time in india we know india we feel safe in india that we are okay to take a train and they say like no 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 you have to take this and we say no 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 thank you for your warning we will go out and we will try to contact our friend because uh, we had a few contacts in New Delhi, we thought yeah, okay, maybe it is dangerous now, maybe there is happening something in this Pahar Ganj area, but anyway, we don't have to take what they are offering us look at this building I believe this is a university building here a new university building, let's go around it, I have never been in that on that side yeah so we make a decision to uh, just go out and try to find the what's happening on our own or we can't go around i think we cannot go around there um, okay whatever let's go yeah, we make up a decision to go and find out the information ourselves. Go out. We don't have internet, but we... I think we knew that you can find the internet in India Wi-Fi. Only in selected places. And I think McDonald's was one of them where they uh, gave you Wi-Fi much easier than in other, place. in other places. You had to have... A, local mobile number to oh it's windy oh yeah you had to have the local number to get wi-fi the university building i think when it's all gonna be covered in these plants it's gonna be super beautiful um yeah we go out the tuk-tuk driver is waiting for us yeah i think he was waiting and he asks us like uh, I don't remember what he asked us but um, we feel like we are being scammed so we don't want to talk to him and we just leave but he's following us and we walk and walk and walk and we find another official tourism office of India like the place looks exactly oh wait I remember how it was. We left that place and we said to the man... <laughs> I don't remember, but I think we got on his tuk-tuk again, asked him to take us back to the station, maybe. And he took us to, to the same place. Like, he made a circle, drove around and took us to the same place. I think that's how it happened but the thing is that it wasn't the same place because as it turned out there are many offices that look exactly the same or very similar they all look like the official official tourism office of India they all look like exactly the same and this is how they trick people they take people to place that looks exactly the same but it's not the official place and this is when we realized that no this is extremely sketchy and um, i don't remember exactly if we went to mcdonald's but uh, we walked to pahaganj to the area where we were intended to go initially we went there yeah i have never been on this place side we went to pahaganj it's only like a kilometer away from the place we went to our hotel and we realized that 
there is nothing extraordinary happening everything was fine tourists were allowed to be there we were just being tricked that's it that's the scheme that they had in place back then in 2016 i have heard that people are tricked the same way had been tricked the same way also years after us i'm not sure if it's still happening now or maybe government has somehow stopped that scheme but it's quite a elaborate scheme when all these people work together the men or men at the train station then tuk-tuk drivers then these fake official tourism offices yeah it's qu quite a scheme and uh, at the same time like i said if in 10 years we have experienced that only one scam like this it shows that world is kind of safe place and you shouldn't be really that worried about traveling and on that i think we'll finish this video looks like today is gonna be as hot as it was yesterday and yesterday we had a government warning saying us to not go outside too much because yesterday it was plus i think 28 <laughs> it's funny to think that in countries like bahrain and saudi arabia during the summer they have temperatures twice as high and it's just normal but here for us it's uh, an extraordinary heat and people are advised to stay at home okay yeah that's it about this india story as i said i'm not planning to uh, film my usual videos for a while most likely until october when mid-october maybe or early november when we are going on a long trip again but i may film some short videos like this instead see you see you soon most likely still from latvia